Why am I standing by? Oh, you might need to press. Here we go. Play button. Hey everyone, here we are with Meg's bags at the top of Mount Washington with uh, for a weekend away with a bunch of friends and we just thought we'd step out and do a bag review. <laughs> So today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Osprey Porter 46. This is a buddy's, oh yeah, let's get a good shot of that. Uh, credit goes to Miss Paula Peach for being my cinematographer. Uh, and the bag is actually my buddy's who I was traveling uh, in Peru with. You may have seen him on episode one, season one, Top of Mount Machu Picchu. So this is his bag. And you know, I've been eyeing it up, pretty curious about it. So I thought I'd give it a little review. So first thing, let's talk about volume. 40, 46. So that's a pretty, that's like I, ideal. 40 to 45 liters, especially if you're going like a weekend away or a short trip, hot trip. That's kind of the perfect size. You don't want too much stuff in there, but it'll, it'll be enough room for you to put all your sarongs and seashells and whatever crap you buy while you're away. So this is what it looks like. What I love about this bag is that it totally unzips like a suitcase. So it's perfect access. You drop it in a hotel room and it sits there like a suitcase, really easy to grab stuff out of. It's got a nice little inside pocket, another one here. Not too many, so again, you don't need a spreadsheet to figure out where your shit is. It, it's got the exterior pocket on the outside, another one here. Ooh, this is kind of new. It's got all the little compartments. This, this for me, this, like, what is this? I guess you can put pens and stuff in there. That's a bit much for me. You know, that's a little too, too orgo freaky. But anyway, some people like that. So if that's their, your jam, it's there. Uh, what I also dig about it is it's got this side pocket nice and solid. So, you know, that's not going to rip off. Um, the cool thing about this bag, because it's like a suitcase, you got the straps outside. And if you unclip them, then they will tuck right into the zipper compartment. So then wow. it turns into his duffel. Wow. So that's pretty nice. Uh, I think something that would lack for me is if you wanted um, to do anything that needed a little bit more back support or hiking, this would probably be a no-go for that. There's just not much structure in the back. And uh, no, these little hip straps aren't going to do too much for you. Same thing with no pockets on the hip straps, which for me, if I'm planning a hiking trip, that's pretty key. But overall, I'd say in terms of like a travel bag, weekend getaway bag, or like that whole, like you want a backpack slash suitcase mix, this is pretty great. Price Fucking point? Fucking bag bags! Fucking rules! <laughs> Fucking rules! <laughs> yeah, Richie! <laughs> um, cost! There are, I think he said about 200 bucks, which is a pretty decent price point. This is an Osprey pack, so they've got um, really, really good quality bags. So probably worth, worth the dough. Um, oh, it also, I guess, has these little straps on the outside. I don't actually know what those you are. You know, for. like a hoodie or something. You yeah. need to just stick there. All right, sure, a pillow if you're going away for a weekend. <laughs> um, overall rating? I'd say it, I'd give this bag pretty high, like four to five, nine to 10, that kind of thing. All right, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. See ya.